What's up, everybody? Uh, so I'm going to be showing off this uh, kind of cool thing I discovered today. Um, I've been playing around with it. I saw a simplified version of it earlier of kind of how to set it up, and I kind of expanded on it just knowing that it's a cool thing to do. Um, it's not 100% complete yet because I, there's one part that I haven't been able to finish, and um, yeah, so we'll, we'll just run with it for now, and I'll fix that one later. Um, but it all centers around this arrow right here. Um, and this is a collapsible menu. As you can see, it says menu. Um, and basically with that, it uh, shows me these. And then I can go here. Here are my uh, combat jobs that I care about at the moment. Uh, depar uh, department. Disciple of land, disciple of hand. I've got my fate relays. And then I've also just got um, travel and miscellaneous. So like I've got character tab here, return, teleport, my mounts. Um, this one I actually really need to label, but it just opens my character menu because if you can see, C is bound to uh, intervene, and so I can't really readily open that. Um, so, yeah. So, basically I can go through here, and then each one of these, so like if I want to switch to Dancer, it'll switch me to Dancer, and then it'll also close that menu. Same with this, I can switch to, or I can open my character page, and it'll close that menu up. Um, the only ones... And this works for everything, like, I'm, like, Vivi is in the party, but she's offline, so I, but I can still use party chat. So, like, these work. The only one of these that don't work are the mounts. Um, not just because I'm in here, um, but also because I don't know how to set it up to summon a specific mount without just doing the mount roulette. Um, it's something I'll play with later. Uh, see if I can find a, a text command for me to mess around with it. But, yeah, that's what that is. And, uh how that works is we're going to open our user macros so these are my macros some of these are relevant most of these are just useless um so we'll, we'll start from the top here this is the menu this is the menu button itself this is what opens all of this uh opens and closes it um and that one's just the hotbar display five that's this one here uh on and off it just turns that one on um and it also turns any of these, if they're open, off. So, like, for right now, I've got uh, Hotbar 10. This is my Fate one. So if I click on this, it'll make both of those go away. So this is just Hotbar Display 5 on, and then 7, 8, 10, and 4. Uh, it turns them all off if I click that. So regardless of what's open, if I click that, they all go away. Um, and then we get into the actual the drop down. So this is Hotbar Display 7. That's this one and again that's on or off and then it also turns any of the other ones off so if I were to click on another one here like if I click on this one that one closes this one opens and it's just like I said if it turns this one on and turns the rest of these off same going down here same going here um, and then for the actual actions themselves so if we click on return uh, that's just M icon return, the actual action, and then hotbar display 5, 7, 8, 10, and 4 off. Um, and all this does is once I've chosen a thing to do, so okay, I click on the one that opens my character page, it's going to open the character page, and then it's going to close all those menus up. Um, so, yeah, fairly straightforward. Um, for some of these, like the job ones, uh, M icon gear set 1 is my paladin. Um, and then gear set change to one, so that just switches me to paladin. And then it, and then the same menus here: a hotbar display five, seven, eight, and ten off. Um, I just realized. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I could add it to all of these, but just by opening this one, that one closes. But if I were to do it like this through here and execute it, that would actually stay open. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and fix those. Let's find something that has hotbar display 4 off. There we go. This is just going to be easy. We're just going to copy and paste it down the line.
easy peasy stuff. So these are just some cool things you can do with macros. Um, if anybody else knows anything about setting up macros like this, please let me know. Show me what kind of cool things you're, you're doing with yours. Because otherwise I just use them for like intervention. You know, hey, I'm going to target, you know, to auto target my, the off tank. Because that's the only time I'll ever use intervention. If I'm in a situation where there's only one and where I'm the only tank and um, someone other than the healer needs intervention, then something has gone terribly wrong. Um, I used to have one for Provoke. Not a really big deal. I do keep the one for Shirk. Um, and this one just says, hey, I'm Shirking, and who I'm Shirking, again, if I'm running anything with a four-man party, uh, then I'm only hitting this button to troll my healer, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Not much of a tutorial. Like I said, I'm just kind of showing it off. Oh, and I did the same thing here. Um, with the, uh, my, Blah, words. Words are hard, bro. Um, I did the same thing here with the Fate and Hunt Relay callouts. Again, I could go through here, but I mean, if I'm using it out of this anyway, then this is going to close it regardless. But I can hit, like, teleport, and it'll bring up the teleport menu. Lots of cool stuff with this. Um, I am going to mess around with it more, see if I can't get these uh, mounts working. Um, but for now, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching, checking it out. Uh, you have a good one.